In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how you can automate the first comment on your LinkedIn post so that you can put in a call to action or spark additional conversation even when you're not there. Additionally, beyond showing you how to automate that first content, I wanna show you how you can automatically manage the CTAs for your events like YouTube videos or your podcast or webinars so that you can properly put in a CTA for before the event, like if you want them to go to a registration page or subscribe to your channel or after the event where the event is actually live, you have a video that they could watch and you wanna direct them to that video that is live and so they can go watch it. And here's an example of that. A couple of days ago, I had a post that went out that was promoting a video that was not live yet. So here I said, watch the video when it goes live and when you click that link, it's gonna take you to my YouTube channel to actually subscribe. And then today I had a promotional post that went out today and you can see that the CTA properly links to the live video. So the way I look at this is that every event is going to have a pre-event CTA. The event hasn't happened. The video is not live. The podcast has not been published, in which case you just want people to go subscribe so then when it does, they'll get notified. And then there's post-event text where the podcast or the YouTube video is live and now people can actually go and watch it. And if you think about your podcast, if you're making little clips from your podcast and you're publishing those on LinkedIn, you're gonna wanna link back to the full episode Episode so that somebody can go click that in the comments and then go watch the full episode. So in my content system, I do have a place that I can define different events. And for my YouTube videos, you can see I have just that. I have my pre-event CTA text and my post-event CTA text. Now, what this system does is it allows me to keep track of all my content, the copy, the images, the media, and then specifically all the posts that I'm making on any given day. And here you can see the two examples that I showed you, which was this post here and this post here. And what you're able to see here is that I have a field here which shows the CTA text. And right now you can see that both of these are pointing to watch the full video. But what's interesting is this field is actually dynamic. And if we go in here, what it's doing is that it's actually trying to figure out has this event already happened yet? So here's the actual YouTube video record. And if we scroll down here, you're gonna see that I have the published URL for that YouTube video. If I click on this, this is going to take me to the YouTube video that I was referencing in those two YouTube posts here. And what will happen is because the URL is here, the CTA text is telling you to go watch the video. But if I come over here and I actually remove this here, then we can come back over to the CTA text. And what you're gonna see here is dynamically, this is is going to revert back to pre-event CTA text, which is going to say, watch the video when it goes live. So if I come back here and put that back in, then when we come back to the CTA text, you're gonna see that that actually posts back to watch the full video. So what the system is doing is making sure that whenever we post that published URL in there, that it's properly keeping track of the CTAs and pointing people to the right direction at the right time. And so when my Airtable system actually goes to push these LinkedIn posts live, which it does, these are all the LinkedIn posts that are scheduled to go live. When those are posted, this same system is going to automatically post the right comment right when it's posted. So you you can see the various automations that I have. Here's the one that actually makes the first comment. We can actually test this out. What, what's happening here is it's saying when the published URL is not empty and when the API has re returned the post ID and that we know the status is a success, let's go ahead and post that CTA. So I'm gonna go ahead and just test that action right now. It's gonna actually run that API call. And then so if I actually come back to LinkedIn and I refresh this post and then I scroll down, I can see the comment that I made a while back and then I can see that I just made another one right now. And this comment was actually coming from Airtable. I was connecting to a remote API that then made the comment into LinkedIn. So there you go. I better delete this additional comment here, but there you go. That's how you can automatically post the first comment onto LinkedIn and then also make sure that it's the right CTA for before the event or after the event, or if it's just a default CTA, like growing your email list, whatever you want to make sure people are doing on that particular post, you can create a system that will automatically make sure to do it. Make sure to check out the next video. In the next video, I actually show you how you can automate the publishing of your YouTube videos and the thumbnails. The link's gonna be right up above here. It's also gonna show you how you can automatically pull the analytics down into Airtable. Check it out. Hope to see you there. Have a good one.